morning everybody, I'm in Alistair's room, purely because it's Sunday, happy Sunday, it's my day off for the week, um, and the kids went to Nana's last night, which is lovely, because it's just been full on the last couple of weeks, and I think me and Graham really just needed some time together, so yeah, we went out for dinner, and we went to watch John Wick 4, which was really, really good, and it was just, it was a late night, but it was a really good night. And I woke up thinking, I need to get the Easter stuff out because we've got a busy week next week and then we're away the week after. Literally a week today is Easter Sunday. I'm just, you know, you just think to yourself, like, where am I going to, in like, in the week, where am I going to fit decorating the Easter decks out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, how am I going to fit that into my week? Especially in some ways without the children because... Um, I've got them some knick-knacky bits, um, like the younger two, and obviously they've got some Easter eggs and stuff, but I can't really organise anything with them around. I'm going to get the Easter box out, get a few bits out, kind of like surprise the kids and just see what we've got, because I feel like every year there's always bits that you bring out and go, oh, I forgot I've got that, or some crafts and stuff that we can take on holiday or, or even just use for next week. But anyway... Today's going to be just your average Sunday vlog. Like I said, it's my day off. I'm go I've literally just been getting some chores done, put a load of wash on, just emptied, reloaded the dishwasher. I need to strip some beds, actually. Um, and yeah, kind of decorate for Easter. I'm going to have a roast today as well. Anyway, the decks are in there. So I'm going to have to go up there and get them. And Graham just brought back the ladder as well because that was down the shop. Right, I found the box, and then I've also found my wreath, which I've had to kind of plump up a little bit because it's a little bit squashed. I don't know, really, for a few weeks. This is kind of eastery, but it's definitely springy as well, you know what I mean? Like it can stay out for probably this whole month. And there we go. These are a little bit off. So my mother in law thinks about it. I will let the kids go through a lot of this because they just love looking at the old crafts and things that we used to do and just going through the decor. These are the eggs, the egg hunt. I don't know when we're going to do the egg hunt because we're actually going to be away. Um, so we might have to do it sometime next week, like midweek or something. This is a little um, crate my sister and I actually made. And then the good stuff. Oh, I forgot I got this last year. Oh, this is one of my home sense buys. Look how gorgeous that is. Like it's a candle holder, but honestly, you don't even need candles in it. It's just so cute. And then I also got, I think this was a, a BM buy. I just love Easter. Oh, these are my home sense buys I've had for years. My little bunnies are gone on the mantle. They actually wanted to get their sacks out. I've just put my little more of a dainty hair in here. I've got a little mini one as well, glass. And I'll show you I'll show you what I actually got because I've put these up here. I think I'll probably I might move I might put that as a table centerpiece, I'm not sure to realize actually I got rid of loads of stuff I really don't have as much as I thought I did um, but yeah kind of going for more of a minimal look and it's just housing everything isn't it so the kids have got a couple of Easter eggs I've quite a big family so they end up getting too much so I haven't gone crazy I think they've got the big kids the big kids have got two big eggs and Miles has got two little eggs and then I've just got a couple of extra little bits it's Easter after all, it's about spending time together and um, like I said, we're away so I'm not going to be taking much with us extra stuff, you know, maybe some crafty bits or I'm not taking loads of Easter eggs with us basically. But um, yeah, I'll show you, I picked up just some random bits from like Poundland and, and this is what they've got, like I said, minimal, it's just a couple of bits. Miles was actually with me when I pretty much chose these bits, so he's got bubbles 
so cute, they're from Poundland. This Easter painting gnome, we'll probably take that away with us. Excellent characters that you just make and stick and whatever. That's from B&M. A bath bomb, one of these little chocolate coin thingies, large ones. And then a little pen, he loves drawing. So I've got my proper pen. And then he's obviously got his two little Easter eggs. And then Violet's got this little Easter sign that comes with the pens. But I just thought that's quite cute. Um, she's got this little gonk which was from Poundland, I think it was £1.50. This little cup, which was from one of the Pound stores, I think it's called Pound, I don't know what it's called, Pound something. Um, yeah, I thought it was quite cute, they had quite a few different ones. The little pen, this little Bertie bunny, it's like a sew your own bunny thing. And then she's got a Reese's eggs, and then one of the coins. And then Alistair has got those two, but I know that sounds really lame that he hasn't got, but he's nearly 14, it's just not his thing. However, he has just had an upgrade on his TV. So he's very lucky because that is a ridiculous thing to have for Easter, but it's only because Graham's basically gonna buy a little TV for the shop. Um, because we've got like Wi-Fi and internet connection, whatever, we have to set up the phone line. So he's just gonna get a little TV to put down there. And I said to him, Alistair's TV, he's had it for a couple of years now in his room, but it's quite small and it's on his wall and it is just tiny and he kind of stands there and plays it because it's quite high up. So I said, why not just use that TV because it's little, take it down to the shop and just upgrade Alistair to like just a slightly bigger one. So that's what we've done. So, yeah, <laughs> happy Easter. You get a free, you know, an upgrade of a, a larger TV. But to be fair, we were going to do it at some point. It's just the fact that he was going to buy a TV anyways. But yeah, if I find anything, I might even put a gift card in there or something for his PlayStation because he always asks for like upgrades of his PlayStation, you know, like for the value of like £10 or something. But like I said, it's Easter. I'm not going too crazy. He's got eggs. Right, this is two weeks. Things are starting to come along. We're getting some bits pop through. Miles did some really good planting. Like, I think he probably put quite a lot of soil. That's why they've, on top, that's why they've struggled just to kind of break through. But they are actually, it's coming along. Um, especially like, you can see, these are finally shooting up. Obviously these are big seeds, the um, sunflowers. Okay, so I've ended up just leaving my table because I do want my tulips and my candle. And then I've put my two bunnies over here and moved my plant actually to there. And then I've still kept everything over here because I think it just looks cute. And then the only other thing I've put the, they're kind of egg lights, but I haven't got any batteries in them, but they're little Easter egg lights on my tree. <laughs> just stripped Alistair's bed and I've just decided actually um, I'm going to get some suitcases out of the loft because I um, need to start packing again I just don't know how much time I'm gonna have and if I can just put little bits in I've already printed off a list of stuff just to you know like reminders of things I need to bring so Cornwall, obviously, British weather anyway, it's just going to be mild, kind of partially wet, partially dry, who knows, but I've got to pack like wetsuits and we're going to do, we're going to be doing like the surf school and stuff like that, because our apartments are right near it, but yeah, it's going to be action packed week, I think, we're going to be busy and um, it'll be nice just to uh, do some fun things with the kids. I'm not really bothered about what they wear. Not that I've ever been overly bothered about what they wear, but I think I might put this one out actually. Um, but you know, it's more practical. That's the kind of way I'm looking at it. You know, practical clothing, then we're going out for dinner clothing, you know what I mean? because we won't be doing a lot of that. I've already ordered my HelloFresh box to take with us. I've already ordered an Ocado delivery to take with us because I just want my life to be easy. <coughs> and obviously 
there's no way we'll be eating out every single night or for lunch or whatever because it's bloody expensive. I'm here five, as you can imagine. So yeah, I'm, we're, we're doing we're going out for roast dinner on the first Sunday, and you know we'll probably go out for dinner maybe one, maybe two nights out of the seven nights we're there, but the rest I've got basically planned meals that the kids can help with. That's Alistair's room done. Looks pretty clean and tidy for a change. All right, just walk in the dogs. As you can see, it's dry, but it's pretty gray. Honestly, the whole week has been so, so wet. Um, I'm sick of it. I'm sick to the back teeth of it. We're in April now, come on. Last night when we went out, it was so beautiful. And actually the streets of Bournemouth, like everyone was wearing t-shirts and oh, it just that little, little taster was just glorious last night. Um, so I'm hoping that's just a snippet of what's to come for April. Yeah, sit. Good boy. Ah, come on, you sit. Ah, ah, sit. Thank you. Honestly, we need to go back to some serious training. I've just been slacking. I just it's time, honestly. It's like having another child and you're like, you know, trying to put everything into them, but like you've got so many other children and things that you've got to do, but I feel like it's really you go kind of go a bit backwards with it a little bit with puppies if you don't keep on it and he is definitely he's still so so like smart like he when he's listening he's really really good but the distraction of the other two is just too much you know what dogs are like they are very very food orientated so if it's to do with any sort of food and the other two are there he won't listen he's just like food 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 that's what it's all about so when we take it we're actually taking him on our holiday and I think, I said to Gray, we're just gonna keep him on a long tether. Obviously he's still a puppy and he's, his recall was still questionable. And obviously being in a different place, um, we're gonna bring a, the sort of training leads and stuff and just try and like rein it back in a little bit for the week because we're gonna have like, he's gonna have our sole attention for that week as well. So yeah, puppies are hard, honestly. I cannot believe though, he's like, was he five and a half months old now? It's madness. It's gone so fast. The sheeps are good. We've, um, I don't know if you can spot, there's a little black lamb here. That's a new one. We've had a couple of new ones come through, which is obviously the perfect springtime weather, but we had, we always have loads in January, which is silly, but it just happens. This is what we've got work on. Ready? Hen, hen, hen. Good boy, is it? Good boy. It's that constant recall. Hello. Hello. What have you got? Oh, is it nearly Easter? Yeah. Slime now. You did that. You did that, didn't you? Me? No, Violet would have done that, I'm sure. But it wasn't what me. Are you making? Lots of bunnies. Yeah, no, not one. Very cute. I do that, I do that. You want to do it together? Yeah. Create some bunny glasses. This is a picture. Colouring books. Stickers as well. Look. Yeah. See, this is why I try not to buy too much because we've already got a lot of the stuff. Look at this, Miles. Look at all these cool stickers. We've got this whole bag full of oh, this is chips. Yeah. This is a bag full of just Easter bits. Oh, we've got cryptic as well. We've got this lovely stuffed rolled pork shoulder. That I'm going to do for a roast dinner today. I'm going to prep some potatoes and veg ready to go a bit later. Just so I don't have to think about it. I actually made my own almond milk. So I used, I soaked my almonds, but they had like, they just looked like proper almond. They weren't kind of blanched, you know, where they take the skin off. Um, so I've had it in my coffee this morning. I don't know if that is what's giving me a bit of a bad tummy. Because it's a different, I don't know. Do you know when you just like, for some reason, I woke up absolutely fine and then I had my coffee and that's the only difference I can think. So I'm gonna try it in the porridge. I'm hoping it's not giving me a bad tummy. I mean, it tastes good, but it definitely has that sort of 
slightly bitter taste and I think it is because the almonds have their like skins on as such. I actually only have two children back at the moment. Alistair is having a lay-in and why not? I'm very, very jealous. In my last video, it was more of like a chatty update. Um, and it was actually last night. <laughs> but yeah, but when you see this, obviously it'll be separated. But I was talking about like leaving my job and I'm leaving the end of this month. Um, and just changes and like me and Graham were having like full on conversations last night about, yeah, just because I don't know, I'm just, I've always been one of these people that I just, I love earning my own money. I'm just, whether that's going out to work, doing it online, whatever, as in like YouTube and stuff, not like any fans or anything. <laughs> I do have that fear in me of just not having that steady income coming into my account. Um, because I've always just had it and I, I do, I like having my own money as such. Like I am the sort of person that would just go like, oh, let's, let's go here and I'll pay for that. You know what I mean? Let's book that holiday and I feel like I'm really contributing. <gasps> What's happened? What's happened to it? Why is it upside down? It's got like a chick on a bit of a string, but it's like upside down. I really love it. Are you going to hang it in your bedroom? Yeah. And yeah, just, just I've always, you know, it just felt like it's just been a really nice feeling, especially since like going back to work after having, do you hate that when that happens? Like, it's all right in there. Um, after having, after Violet going back to school, and, you know what I mean? Like, I just felt like it's been so nice just to find myself again and, and whatever. So I do have that fear in me. Um, but, you know, realistically, this is our future. So, like, I've got nothing to worry about. You know what I mean? Like, I feel very lucky and very fortunate that we can depend on Graham's income, you know what I mean, the farm business and whatever, and with the shop, put it, you know, putting me into the shop as well, it, it's a smart choice, there's no point paying people to be in there, and like Graham said, I've got to look at it and envision it as me being way more flexible with the children, um, at the moment I'm set to hours and Dad. schedules, Dad. Wow, Dad, look at those. Let's have a look there, Miles. Oh, little bunny. It's just going to be so much better for us as a family. And I feel grateful that I can actually do that. I think it's just a little bit scary, though. I just, like I said, I just love having the independence. But I love that. I love that. But I love that. I just love having the independence of, like, extra income coming in. You know, that I feel really able to do what I please with it and I'm just yeah so yeah I'm really cracking back I'm having to you know realistic like I said to him I'm just have to realistically think about what I'm spending my money on and be more mindful about what we're using because my you could say my flow of money although I'm still going to be having some sort of income coming in doing YouTube and extras and ads and whatever which is great um, I've always been quite, you know, just quite flexible with what, what I choose to spend my money on and, and it's just been quite nice that I haven't been able, or haven't had to be like, you know, to use the family business account or whatever, you know, just to dip into that for holidays and whatever. I've just been able to just have this as a second income and it's just been really nice. But I think, like I said, in the long run, it's gonna be so worth it. And I think you just, I'm looking at it as just prioritizing things differently. I'm gonna be able to really enjoy Miles for the next year while he's not at school and be a bit more like free. Like you said, if I, if I, if I wanna take him out for the day, I don't really have to be picking choosy on days. I can just do it and you know what I mean? If I need to pick up the kids for a certain point or be there for a school, something or another, I don't have to worry about me not being there. So, yeah. I'm not hanging on my bed, Mom. But I have got to be more mindful of what I'm spending money on because at the moment, like, 
I was spending £60 a month on nails, which I basically decided to cut that out of my life because it's not an essential. Um, and yeah, it's just got to give and I'm not sad about it. I actually really don't care. There's a bit of time, like, to be fair, the amount of time I spend, I could use that time differently. I'm still keeping up with the gym though, but I'm actually changing my gyms because I'm just going for a cheaper gym, basically. I've got to give some notice to the gym that I go to. Oh, and one thing that I am really looking forward to is just spending more time with Graham because we don't really get much time together. We like partial ships a lot of the time. He's working like in the mornings and then I'm having to pop out like from school run hours and he's doing the rest of that and I won't be back till tea time, you know what I mean? So I think we're gonna be working solely together and, and at the end of the day, like, the business is our future, so I think it will be nice to get really a bit more hands on with it. Because to be fair, I've just done my own thing for a long time and I've chosen to do that because I just want to. Part Graham's dad's getting to the point where he wants to retire. So it's kind of really the next move for us. And obviously if we want the farming business to be a success and we want our future and we want our retirement, we need to kind of work as a team really. So yeah, this is what You'll probably be seeing a bit more probably like may time it's just more farm more shop and um more me hopefully more me and gray i did get some suitcases out but i don't know how many we're going to need to be perfect friends and there's actually a couple of little ones inside there's more of like luggage carry-ons i just don't want to overpack you know so talking about nails i need to get these nails off these are like three weeks overgrown but also i've lost two a couple of them have chipped and they're really really long you know your nails get too long i've actually got my own gel stuff so i could potentially go back to just doing my own nails and to be fair I, i'm i'm not wild you know i don't want bright colors or anything but i do need a couple of new ones so i think i'm gonna have to because i think these are a little bit dried out right i'm doing scrambled eggs with bacon and some of this tiger bloomer. I'm gonna do some, I think Graham wants a sandwich and I'm gonna do a toast for the kids. Got the bacon in the air fryer. This is the kids. Lunch, brunch, it's Miles's, Alistair's, Violet has pepper. Literally just used 10 eggs for our family of five, how ridiculous. It does pay to have your own hens, honestly. It's just worth it is covered in Easter stickers. I'm just packing up some parcels of some clothes that I sold on Vinted. And honestly, I just showed this to Violet and she was just like, that never fitted me. And I'm like, it did, honestly. This would fit miles. This is age six to seven. But yeah, like I've got so many pictures of Violet in, in little dresses and oh my God just melts me like oh my god she was this tight like she's literally like here now oh so yeah bye bye little dress <sighs> so sad why do they grow up so quick i don't know if you remember violet when she was tiny she was just like Lots of pretty dresses, bows in her hair, beautiful blonde long locks. I'm actually really excited to kind of have Miles for an extra year with me, you know, because I just, obviously I just see how, how fast they do grow and when they do go to school, they grow up so much. And to think I'm going to have two in secondary school and then Miles in school, in infants is just crazy. From September, I'm gonna have two in secondary school. Like, how is that even possible? Like, just, it blows my mind. I remember yesterday, like, when I was in year seven, you know what I mean? Like, so vividly being in year seven, year eight. Hands warm or cold? They are really warm. You are so warm and I am so cold, aren't I? Yeah. I'm so cold, honestly. <laughs> Harps don't me. I'm just 
I know, I'm just so cold. Am I warm? Am I warm? You are. You're lovely, lovely and cozy. Enjoying the Easter stuff. Honestly, he's been crafting all morning. My house is just covered in Easter stickers and you've just been doing lots of crafty stuff, haven't you? And playing with all the bunnies and stuff. Yeah? Now we're gonna get Miss Kids out. And hot chocolate. And hot chocolate. And marshmallows and cream. Okay. Is that what you want? And what you'll have? I'm gonna have a cup of tea. This is Alistair's. One thing I couldn't find, do you know what, in Poundland this year was um, Easter marshmallows. I am going to be baking a cake. Well, not a cake actually, it's like a chocolate pudding. Um, what is it called? Chocolate self-sourcing pudding. So that. So that is what I'm going to make. I've not done this recipe before but it sounds good and it's literally... I've got all the ingredients and it's not kind of a healthy dessert, if that makes sense. Like I'm using just all the basic, like brown sugar, butter, you know, all the good stuff. So I'm hoping it's going to turn out to be a good pudding. It's um, chocolatey. So it's basically boiling water, cocoa, cocoa powder and some light brown sugar and then it's in a little, just pour this over the top apparently, which is the pan. I'm going to pop it in the rain burn. actually use the ray bed to cook because it's just very inconsistent obviously there's no fan or anything you're just winging it and obviously we don't always have it up to temp so yeah it's a lot of the time I don't really use it the top plates actually are pretty good um, when you lift the silver things up it's just like an instant boil but um, yeah anyway I've got to tidy up the chaos I think I made more mess than what the kids would make this is the stuffed pork rolled thing, shoulder. I'm just gonna I'll just put some rapeseed oil, salt and pepper and I'm just gonna wrap it up and stick it in the oven for a bit. I mean it's not it's nearly three o'clock. Let's see how that goes. Hot uh, tub party! Hot tub party! Dino. As the sun is out we finally have a little bit of blue sky. I was just like we got to get in this hot tub, it's dry, the sun's out. It's been so gloomy today, like I've mentioned about a bazillion times. <sighs> 20 minutes while the cake cooks. I think the cake's got about half an hour left on it. It's supposed to be in there for 45 minutes. But uh, I might have to check on it, obviously, sooner. Because um, I don't know how well the Rayburn's actually going to cook it. It might. It's either going to frazzle it or it's not going to cook it that well. I don't really know, to be perfectly honest. But... It's trial and error. I'm sure it'll be edible. It's chocolate at the end of the day. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a little bit of weeding and I thought I'd show you the before because I haven't actually um, touched this bit yet. As you can see, it's a mess. These are my baskets that are dead. But um, yeah, I've got my rose bush. I actually really do need to trim that. And then my hydrangea, which again comes back every year. And then this is just stuff that's blown about all over the shop. So I'm just going to strip it all back. Right, that's tidy than what it was anyway. I've kind of just, obviously everything's just pretty much bare. But I'm just going to leave it at the moment. Just tidied up the steps as well. You are big on your bike. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to wear it and it. When you get a bit bigger, you'll be able yeah. to ride it properly, won't you? Yeah. Graham like, found this bike on um, Face Bay for like 20 quid. Like, like... Perfect! Um, and he's having... Pete's friends with him. Interesting. He just loves them. Got the rabbits out. Hey! Hen! He's just excited. We've just been cleaning out the hutches. The fun stuff. So we're going to do... Um, parrots now. 
and watch this. I'm going to go view her. Very fast. And I have to get a bunny pan. Now move our way. I'm going to go that way. Go then. And let move our way. Please. Ooh. Careful. There's a house. It's a house. Yeah. Oh, I like it. It's like an igloo. Yeah. Yeah. It's not go home with roof. Wait, where? It's, what? Where? Yeah. Why? I completely forgot about my potatoes and I was um I had them on boil and I've, I've actually put them in the air fryer now but I don't know how well they're gonna turn out. Yeah there's loads over there Violet. Yes. Um yeah, I'm hoping they turn into roast potatoes. I'm worried it's a little bit mushy. I put them on the roast setting. The pork's back practically done. I've turned down the heat, covered them back up. It's, been, it's basically been cooking for like two hours. So it's five o'clock. Is it five o'clock? Yeah, it's literally just after five o'clock. So we've just been busy gardening. Lovely. What's that? A car. Okay, that's really specific and very, very strange. Our next move, we are, we have, Graham, you should have done this last year. Yeah, and I brought Take the tops off the red Where's robins, because we put the new trees in. Uh, the extended one. trees last summer, obviously when we got our patio done. And then he's also got to jet wash the patio, refill some gaps, because it's surprising when it's settled. Um, there's a, you know, a few minor gaps actually in the joins and then, um, I toilet, I'll be back yeah I would go. quite like to well just tidy up really get some more planters in be less you know it's quite it's a good space obviously it'd be nice just to have everything open this is what I live for though just being outside so good for the for the mind isn't it Miles Are you wiping your boogers yeah lovely I fall over like over there you did yeah. But you're brave, you didn't cry. No, I didn't cry. No. Oh yeah, angry face. See like his arms. Yeah, there's arms, there's arms. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's your man. He's so cool. He's quite big, isn't he? He's like a sausage man. I think they turned out pretty good. Look how crispy. So good. I'm actually going to put them on the keep warm setting. Because the veg isn't ready. Proper crackling. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that looks good. Head bends like, I can smell that. I can smell it. Besties. Besties. <laughs> I don't want daddy on my back. Too heavy. Quick. Bye bye Easter. Bye bye Easter. Look at my amazing Easter decks. Easter going away now. It's so light and it's seven o'clock. That's a picture of me, is it? Yeah. Is it? Got curly hair. Got curly hair. And touch your hair too. Me? Mouse is a picture of me. Lovely. Thank you. And it's I love it. Right, would you want a star blankie? Daddy. 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 There's Daddy. It's Daddy. It's Daddy. Night, aren't you? Yep. Yep. Very tired. Busy day. I've been keeping it warm on here. Pretty good. Not as gooey as I think it was supposed to be. I've kind of overdone it. Right, how much do you want by? Mm. It's kind of, ooh, it's a little bit crispy on the top. Oh, oh it's like brownie. Oh, that much. Very <laughs> ridiculous. You're not having that much. Which one? Oh my god. This bit? Yeah, bigger bit. It's a bit stuck. Yeah, it's like gooey. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. <gasps> Crispy at the bottom. I want to eat it. All right, all right. Show everybody. Oh, my. Oh, this piece has gone mouldy. Yeah, chuck that one. 
Chuck that one. Where do I use it then? Just chuck it.